Today Bible reading is Ephesians chapter 1 verse 3 to 14 and Mark chapter 6 verse 14 to 29. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 3 to 14. Praise for spiritual blessing in Christ. Praise be to God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in the heavenly realms with every spiritual blessing in Christ. For he chose us in him before the creation of the world to be holy and blameless in his sight. In love, he predestined us for adoption to sonship through Jesus Christ in accordance with his pleasure and will, to the praise of his glorious grace, which he has freely given us in the one he loves. In him we have a redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins, in accordance with the riches of God's grace that he lavished on us. With all wisdom and understanding, he made known to us the mystery of his will according to his good pleasure, which he purposed in Christ, to be put into effect when the times reach their fulfillment, to bring unity to all things in heaven and on earth under Christ. In him we were also chosen, having been predestined according to the plan of him who works out everything in conformity with the purpose of his will, in order that we, who were the first to put our hope in Christ, might be for the praise of his glory. And you also were included in Christ when you heard the message of truth, the gospel of your salvation. When you believe, you are marked in him with a seal, the promised Holy Spirit, who is a deposit guaranteeing our inheritance until the redemption of those who are God's possession to the praise of His glory. Amen. Mark chapter 6, verse 14 to 29. John the Baptist beheaded. King Herod heard about this, for Jesus' name had become well known. Some were saying, John the Baptist has been raised from the dead. And that is why miraculous powers are at work in him. Others say he is Elijah. And still others claimed he is a prophet like one of the prophets of long ago. But when Herod heard this, he said, John whom I beheaded has been raised from the dead. For Herod himself had given orders to have John arrested, and he had him bound and put in prison. He did this because of Herodia, his brother Philip's wife, whom he had married. For John had been saying to Herod, It is not lawful for you to have your brother's wife. So Herodia nursed a grudge against John and wanted to kill him. But she was not able to, because Herod feared John and protected him, knowing him to be a righteous and holy man. When Herod heard John, he was greatly puzzled, yet he liked to listen to him. Finally, the opportune time came. On his birthday, Herod gave 
a banquet for his high official and military commanders and the leading men of Galilee. When the daughter of Herodia came in and danced, she pleased Herod and his dinner guest. The king said to the girl, Ask me for anything you want, and I will give it to you. And he promised her with an oath. Whatever you ask, I will give you up to half my kingdom. She went out and said to her mother, What shall I ask for? The head of John the Baptist, she answered. At once, the girl hurried into the king with a request. I want you to give me right now the head of John the Baptist on a platter. The king was greatly distressed, but because of his oath and his dinner guest, he didn't want to refuse her. So he immediately sent an executioner with an order to bring John's head. The man went beheaded John in the prison and brought back his head on a platter. He presented it to the girl and she gave it to her mother. On hearing of this, John's disciples came and took his body and laid it in a tomb. This is the word of God. Thanks to the Lord. <laughs> 